tour now for like 15, 16 months, most recently with Filter and Saliva. It's, a, it's been a good tour so far, we're really happy to be there. Uh, we've been touring on this album and having some really good success with it, it's called America. Well, the album's about a year and a couple of months old and you know, at the same time, you know, a normal album cycle for a band is about, you know, two years, if you will, if you get that chance. Most of the time it's like six months and then, yeah, right. then you're gone. Today we're here at a band camp in Madison, Wisconsin. It was a fly date for us. We drove 1,100 miles from Washington to LA, flew to Milwaukee, and here we are. And then uh, tomorrow morning at about 6 a.m., we're gonna be flying back to LA to play our show because we don't like to miss shows. I keep begging my, I keep begging my, yeah! I keep begging my. Yeah, our energy is like, we feed off each other for one thing, but most importantly, we feed off the crowd. And then once he's on stage, He'll do, you know, he'll give it all he's got, and then he'll even go as far as to walk in the crowd. Like, that's giving it the extra mile. That's what we all do. It's all about energy, intensity, bringing a certain level of, of aggression to what we do, like, because we're, we're a very heavy band in a way, with Melody, of course. We had Zach Broderick from uh, Nonpoint come out and, uh, and play one of our songs with us, and on top of that, he had to, he had to play my theme. Vinny from Seven Dust, another band that idols of ours that we get to tour with very often. We always see them playing the Deans, you know. And um, I saw Vinny getting some new basses. And um, kind of mentioned to Vinny a few times, hey, what about Dean, what about Dean? And, and we were in uh, Tampa headquarters for Dean. The guys from Dean saw us play. And we went over to the factory and the deal was made. Like we just... We spent eight hours there. Josh knew what we, yeah. <laughs> Josh knew what we were. Yeah. He saw what we did. He's like, let's make sure you don't play what you're playing before and play this, yeah. and I'm gonna give it to you now. Yeah, it's like, and that's what it was like. Then. And D drum too, with the drum, everybody got outfitted, and it was awesome. The things that stand out from Dean are their quality. Uh, right now I'm using a Saltero, and it's, it's probably the most solid guitar I've ever played. Just the action is always perfect on it. I don't have to tweak it out a bunch. Touring all over the US, you, you have different weathers and wood expands and contracts. I never have to adjust it at all. It just plays how it should. I think for me as a bass player, uh, there's the versatility. The, these basses, the way they work them and, and sonically and the way it feels, it's got that if you work it right and you have your bass sound and you have the amp and all dialed in, it's got a certain vibe. The guitars I'm using are the Deceiver and uh, the USA Saltero. Um, these things ring out forever. If I, if I hit a chord, I'll just, I'll just stand there and wait and just smile. The Saltero that I'm using right now, I'll never get rid of it. When I, when I go, it's going with me. My last guitars that I had, you know, through other companies, you know, I just, could never find the right tone that mixed and match with the amps that we were using. And the minute I plugged this one in, it was like, jump, jump. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that crunch, it's right there. It's got the bottom end, it's got that huge bite. Because I love bite when it comes to, you know, the sound quality. Yeah. We love to experiment with sound. So yeah. the beauty of having a good company like Dean behind us is they give us opportunities like that to go, hey, you want to try something different? Let's try something different. I have four Deans right now. I'm going to keep getting more because uh, it's the only thing I'll play. And I have a couple of Dean acoustics, solid top, spruce top, and sound great. They're great for live, radio, recording. The E-Bass is what I play, and the Hillsboro. I love that round, crunchy, overdrivey type of sound. I've been able to achieve the sound that I like, that I personally have been using forever. They've really taken us in, um, treated us very well, uh, like a family. More than anything, there's a very good camaraderie with Dean. The customer service is really well. The one thing I will say, and this is a personal statement, I'm sure the guys will agree, I mean, I, is the ability for me to hit up and contact Josh or anybody at Dean to say, hey, what do you think about this idea and that idea? They get it, Dean gets it. A lot of companies, it's no disrespect, sometimes they don't see that correlation between 
a hardworking band that's ready to work for you and work with you, and just a band that's coming knocking and asking for stuff. Right. We're not that band. Right. We'd rather play stuff that, we'd rather see reciprocating, you know, love, so to speak, rather than be in a one-way street where we're always knocking and feel like the, right. you know, the brother who always wants to go out with his older brother. Hey, can I come out with you? We're not, you know, we don't want to be that guy. We don't want to be that band.